How did you get into him? Well, primarily through the script. Mm -hmm. It was a script which I agreed and liked very much, written by a very, very close friend of mine who understands me and um, uh, you see, there's so many, there's, there's no one complete answer. There are so many little facets. I'll give you examples, if you like. For one, one reason, um, I remember so very clearly uh, trying to reconcile the sort of um, willowy, poetic idea which most of us had in England with his sculptor's idea of him. You know, his sculptor was a close friend of him, described him as being like a middleweight boxer. And Robert Graves, who lived with him, described him as being a shifty little Arab. Mm -hmm. And and that he always seemed to, when he spoke to you, make an inventory of your clothes. In fact, his eyes were everywhere. It dawned on me what, in fact, he was doing was perhaps not shifting so much as Looking around things. Being aware, mm -hmm. a tucked in mm -hmm. defensive thing, which you can see from boxes, and they're aware where your arms and mm -hmm. where the next blow is coming. Things like this just add up. There's no one complete, concrete crystallization of who he is. Tell me a little bit about the way the picture was done. I think it was done in the very hard way. You've been working in the desert all the time, I think. I was nine months uh, in Jordan and Saudi Arabia. Uh, I was, we had a cosy three months in Seville. Mm -hmm. Then we had three months in the Spanish desert, and then another three months in the Sahara. You adjust easily to the desert? Oh no, I loathe it. Mm -hmm. No, no one adjusts to the desert. Mm -hmm. Only lunatics and God. Mm -hmm. God was born in the desert.